us, and we're grateful this morning because we have a man that has been sent by God, and that's important. Amen? So listen, we are finishing strong, and we're excited to move forward into the last part of the anniversary. Amen? The anniversary concludes this Wednesday. Everybody say, this Wednesday at 7 p.m. I need to see each of you in the place. Let's fill it out. Let's bring a pack house to worship and thank um, our pastor. Amen? On this exact Sunday, July 17, 2022, Shanita Erie Lewis was in the pulpit and she was encouraging members to come out and continue celebrating their pastor. After she left the first service that morning, she went to her house and she was supposed to pick up her two boys to bring them back to church, but she was never heard from again. The Newport News Police Department continues to search for information that will lead them to missing 35-year-old Shanita Yuri Lewis. Number one priority of the Newport News Police Department and all those men and women that are standing in their back in uniform is to find your mom and bring her home. Shanita Yuri Lewis, 35, was a wife, mother of two boys, and a hard worker. She had spent the last decade working part-time for C.C. Carter Funeral Home and she is also very active in her church, Gethsemane Baptist Church. According to neighbors, she loved to sit outside on her porch and watch her sons play basketball. Her family and friends stated she is caring, loving, and had a beautiful smile and always looked out for everyone. She is married to Adrian Lewis, the father of her two boys, and they have been together for a while. But according to records, it was stated that on July 5th, Shanita told her husband that she wanted a divorce. Although very active in church, according to neighbors, her husband never went with her, just her boys, but Adrian was always a good neighbor. However, on July 14th, Shanita reportedly removed all the guns from their Newport News home and took them to her sister's house because her husband was having some suicidal thoughts. She also left her two children with her sister until early Sunday morning, July 17th. That is when Shanita and her husband, Adrian, reportedly went and picked the kids up at around 1.30 a.m. Later that morning, Shanita got up and went to church by herself for the 8 a.m. service. I am assuming that her kids did not go to that early service because she picked them up so late the night before and she let them sleep in a little bit. After the first service was over at church, Shanita went home where she was supposed to go get her kids, but according to her sons, their parents were in a verbal argument and then they left and did not take the kids. Also, one of the neighbors stated that he saw them leaving together as well without the kids, but they were not arguing when he saw them and he even spoke to them. They both left in a black pickup truck. At around 9.40 a.m. that morning, according to court records, it says that Shanita's sister got a phone call from Adrian during which he told her that she was having an affair. A few hours had passed and around noon, she said she got another call from Adrian where he told her they got into a fight and that her sister jumped out of the truck near Jefferson Avenue and Harpersville Road. At about 12.10 p.m., Shanita's sister received a text message from her cell phone. It was a long conversation, but it continued by text only. At this point, her sister has started looking for her because she never returned back to church. At about 3.45 p.m. that Sunday, Shanita's sister was at a traffic light when she said she saw and spotted Adrian's truck and he was parked near a dumpster and she noticed that he was placing items in the dumpster. They had some words back and forth, but nothing came of where her sister was. A few more hours passed and a police report was filed for a missing person. Well, neighbors say they would see Shanita out here watching her kids play basketball all the time. They lived here in this home right here. The house that she shared with her husband, Adrian Lewis, they have two children. 
She was last seen Sunday in Newport News, as you mentioned, around 9 a.m. between church services. Virginia State Police issued a critically missing endangered adult alert. A neighbor said he saw her get into her husband's black truck around 9 a.m. Sunday. He said they were talking normal to him. They weren't arguing. Chief Steve Drew told us they are talking to the husband, and there are a lot of questions that the chief has and the detectives have. The police were quick to jump on it and issue an adult version of an Amber Alert. Now at this point, something has happened and where is Shanita? Now if we go back to when Adrian called the sister around noon that day, he said that he dropped her off near Jefferson Avenue and Harpersville Road because they got into a fight, according to the criminal complaint. But the police reviewed the cameras in that area and his story did not match up. Chanita's sister also told when she seen him by the dumpster after she made the police report, they went and checked out the location where the dumpster was and inside they found a shovel with dirt on it, her purse, her sandals, and some kind of blanket. Also, the pickup truck they were in was abandoned in Hampton, Virginia at a hotel, the Relax Inn. Her personal car was also found in Hampton, but it is not known how it got there. When the police searched the truck, they found a spent shell casing and blood. A person who identified himself as a longtime customer of Adrian's spoke with detectives and said that he got a call from Adrian asking him to meet him at that hotel to detail the truck. The court documents state that when he went to clean the interior, he noticed a lot of blood on the passenger seat, which he said Adrian told him came from his dog, which had been shot. Detectives later confirmed that both of his dogs were healthy and alive. Adrian also told the man to watch after his truck for a few days that he was going to be catching a flight. Documents also reveal that Adrian had purchased a plane ticket to Jamaica on the same day his wife went missing and was scheduled to depart on Monday. Detectives obtained a search warrant by the next day for the home and discovered the same ammo in Adrian's home matched the spent 380 casing that was found in the truck. And based on the evidence that was recovered, they reclassified her case from missing to a homicide. Today, police chief Steve Drew announced her husband, Adrian Lewis, is charged with her murder. After officers made a shocking revelation of what was found in the truck Shanita was last seen in at the Relax Inn on Mercury. At this point, law enforcement was looking for Adrian. It was Monday, July 18th, and he had gotten on a plane and left his kids behind. He flew out of Norfolk, Virginia, and flew to Dulles International Airport in Washington, D.C., where federal agents located him at around 10.45 a.m. Monday morning and detained him. Customs and Border Patrol officers tried questioning Adrian about his wife's disappearance, but he didn't give any information. Shanita's passport and credit cards were found in her husband's luggage. When Newport News police finally arrived at the airport, to handle the investigation, Lewis still refused to speak to detectives without a lawyer present. At about 4.10 a.m. on Tuesday, July 19th, Adrian was charged with first-degree murder in his wife's death. However, still to this day, she has never been found. This is one of those situations where everything was done so fast and the police did everything very quickly took her missing very seriously, and in less than 48 hours, he was charged with first-degree murder without her body. My question is, though, where is she at? They had such a jump on this situation, same day, but he was able to get rid of her so quickly, so very heartbreaking. I pray that this family gets justice very, very soon. According to one of Shanita's sisters, just the other day, she said it, that it saddens her that a person can be so cruel to take a person's life just because of a choice they feel like they want to make. People have the free will that God gave them to make their own decisions, whether it's agreeable or not. But to take someone's life and not give her children that you share with her,
Your own children closure says a lot about who you are, Adrian. She did not deserve this at all. I couldn't have said it better myself. He is allowing his own kids to suffer the loss of their mother and their father because now both parents are not in their lives. Such a great, great tragedy. She deserves to be here. May the truth come to light sooner than later. And as always, stay woke. Things change quickly. Pastor Carter says Shanita told him about her troubles she was going through about a week ago. The police report details she planned to get a divorce and removed all of the guns from her family home. One thing about Shanita, Shanita was one that she could smile through the pain. Whatever she was going through, she didn't let everybody know. Her work family says her husband never showed any red flags or signs of abuse. People can mask well, you know, and you, sometimes you don't see. Certain people show you what they want you to see. He wants men to know. You can't control nobody.